And uh, so some of you have asked about, um, so you watch the course and then you've asked, um, you don't know where to start when you come to the chart. Now, obviously from watching the course, it is very easy to see. And with the course is obviously focused on a trade that's actually already played out. And I think, um, as you know, I know for the for the course of video that that trade was actually something that we actually took. Well, actually, I didn't take it live. Someone took it live, but I sent the chart in myself. But um, you're still str st sort of struggling to understand um, how to actually approach um, the market. So what I'm going to do is going to sh show you a top-down analysis of uh, AED uh, JPY. And so this is a trade I'm currently in. It's taking forever, and I'm going to explain. Uh, exactly what I did to approach this pair, why I've taken it, where I have, and um, we'll go from there. So the first thing I need to see is where is my overall bias? Now my overall bias is bullish, right? Why? Because if you see from this perspective, we've got the, now bear in mind, my style of trading is more swing, is more swing style. I rarely do intraday, but the process is pretty much the same. You just lower the time frames. Um, but what you need to realize is you need to understand, you know, the reason why I do swing trading is because I want to reduce the amount of chart time as much as possible to the point where I can place a trade and hold that for a good few weeks. Even if I can hold it longer, that'd be perfect because, you know, the rate of return is great and, you know, it's less stressful, uh, you know, and for me personally, I don't want to waste my time on the charts. I mean, swing trading for me makes me enough. I'm happy. Um, but you know, it depends on what you want really, to be fair. So if you understand from the monthly perspective, what is going on, price is actually bullish. If you see, we've got the impulse successful retrace. So we know it's bullish, right? But we need to understand where can it possibly reverse from? Should we start looking for short at any point? The only point that I can see um, that's clear is this OB that is sitting here because that OB cleared um, caused this impulsive move which went on to break structure well broke uh, minor structure it didn't actually break the low here did it no it didn't that broke structure came from, come from here so to be honest this could be a better swing it, it should well in theory I would expect it to violate this OB because it only broke minor structure so I, I shouldn't expect anything more but all I know that if I'm looking for longs I should be okay to hold that pair for pretty much as long as possible until I get to a point where, you know, price starts to show me otherwise on the higher time frame, right? Okay, let's go to the weekly and see if there's anything different. No, so it's exactly the same situation. We still got that POI sitting there and um, we are still bullish, right? It's very clear that it's bullish. Now in this case, right, because it's bullish, should we start looking for counter trends? Now, I think that's the issue. I think. Uh, you're instantly looking for a reversal play, but I don't see the point why, okay? Because the reason why, if you're going to go for, for example, swing trading, right? You need to go pro trend for swing trading. You shouldn't be looking straight for a reversal. And to be honest, your probability is lower looking for a reversal. So when you approach the market, let's try and approach it with a situation where, you know, you want to know what the overall bias is. And even though my entry was pretty much late here, because it is late and I'll explain why, um, we still need to understand that you know we're going pro trend so i can hold this trade quite nicely and just let it run i could take my partials whenever and you know you know just see how long it goes for to be fair because it can have a huge potential even if i got a small volume on this trade right so uh on the daily what do we see is we've got this sort of base form and then have an impulsive move but the real low in this situation from that range that range high right We've got a range high and a low in this situation. Uh, the low in this situation would be this one. Okay, so that would be the low, sorry. That would be the low, that would be the high. Okay, and we understand that. But we need to see um, where could price possibly reverse from. And the reason why that's the POI is purely because of that impulsive nature that's happened here, right? And left, um, left clear imbalance sitting here so and it also formed a base so what what we know about the base is obviously you've got a base rally base no sorry rally base rally here okay so we know that this could be a potential poy and all we need to look for is if price um if it marries up with any other time frame to be honest if price was to come this far 
that's a very deep retrace to be honest and i wouldn't expect it if it does come here and if you do get a reaction i wouldn't expect it to hold to be honest um but obviously we never know we never know i mean if price could have reacted here i think when i sent the poi i did mark out this lower one and um, that's here but anyway let's see what's happening on the on the four hours so the four hours is generally the time frame that i prefer um to start marking out my pois um, and this is a very similar situation where we have this sort of base rally base rally okay so in this situation it's basically an impulse retrace impulse but we don't really get a retrace here to be honest or here it's very just sideways movement what do we know about sideways movement we know that this is an equilibrium between the buyers and sellers so when there's an impulsive move that's an indication that institutions were active right so in this side right even though we've got this move here where did it originate from it's here now i wouldn't use this on its own because it's just a four hour the daily and the four hour marry up nicely at this poi so i would prefer to use this one down here that's why i would waited for uh, price to come here once price actually tapped it i actually missed the entry point here i think it, uh, i don't know what i was doing I was either asleep or just missed the uh, I don't know I can't remember uh, I got yeah I can't remember what happened there but do you need to worry no why because you can always get another entry all you need to do is follow now when you understand that if you follow because it's a daily time frame right uh, POI now if you follow the time frame rules the rule of three we can skip one then look at the entry on on the one minute or the 30 minute it's completely up to you um, so I stuck with the hourly just to see when we get a change in trend in this situation. So here we get a break of structure here, right? Break of structure and we've got the first impulse and we're waiting for the success of retrace, right? Now in this situation, right? Now we're only coming back uh, to this point for this inefficiency field that's sitting here, okay? Now in this situation, um, obviously this is a lower probability purely because it's uh, going to be the entry on the first break of structure. However, the, you need to bear in mind this is the hourly, so we can actually refine this even further. Now, if you haven't watched the entry video, then um, I'm basically explaining it again. But if you have watched it, then this part uh, is just a repeat for you. So on this time frame, we can see that in the middle of the night, so I didn't actually see this one, but we had this impulsive move and we could have got an entry on this point here, right? We've got a failed failed low and then an impulsive move. So entry entry pattern number two, right? So we could have got an entry at this point. However, I didn't get that. Now, the reason why I didn't get that because I was asleep and I woke up about this time and then price was somewhere up here. So with that being said, right, because we've got this impulsive move, right, and we did break in the, on the five minute, it'll be minor structure. We need to understand that this is uh, going to be major structure in the one minute, okay, if you follow what's actually going on. So in this situation, what can we see is we create a low, high, impulsive move, successful retrace. My entry was uh, based off um, the extreme. I could have got an entry point here, but the reason why I didn't is because this impulsive move left clear imbalance behind for me to say there's enough reason for price to come here to mitigate um, before continuing. And it sort of marries up with a five minute as well. Um, sorry, that was not, the entry was here, sorry. Uh, 699 there we go the entry was there and it also marries up with a five minute as well and i think the two minute was even clearer to be fair yeah here in this situation is even clearer um where price actually reacted from um so in that situation we need to understand that even though we missed the overall analysis uh, we missed the overall entry where we wanted which is all the way down here um which is all the way here right it doesn't matter because if you follow the time frame rules, you can recreate the same thing. Now, why was I still looking for longs? It's because the whole picture was brought, the whole picture was created, right, from the monthly, from the weekly, from the daily, and then we come to this. So that's the reason why I prefer. Because although to be fair, this trade I don't like it at all because of how long it's taken to move. But you need to understand that the picture was drawn from the higher time frame. So. I can actually hold this trade out with confidence. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Don't have a reason to close as of yet because we haven't really disrupted the order flow of the higher time frames. It's still bullish in my. It's still bullish in my eyes. Okay, that's in my eyes. Whether you, if you see something different, then fair enough. But it's respecting price. It's respecting where price should be reacting from, perfectly. So I 
you know, who am I to say otherwise? So essentially, we just had to follow price at this point. Now, obviously, if you're going for intraday, it'll be the exact same situation, but your higher time frame may be the four hour, one hour, or 30 minute, 30 minute even. If you want to scalp, then use 15 minute, but you always have to build that picture from whatever high time frame you pick. Uh, and yeah, the reason why we swing trade is purely because of the, the effort that you have to put in. It's very minimum as long as you understand what is actually going on um, in the market. Now, I hope this video actually showed you how to actually approach the market once you've actually finished the course, because um, I do understand that, it, you know, watching the course, it, everything seems to make sense, and then once you get to the charts, you know, your mind goes blank, and, you know, I've been there, and I fully understand that. Um, but to be honest, it just takes um, it just takes time and practice, to be honest. Um, but I hope this video has cleared um, some questions for you.